Hey guys, welcome back to another weekly video here at Child Care Business Executive Tools. And obviously this is a new year, so happy new year. Um, and today's topic, we are gonna be talking about, and I've titled it, New Year, New Me. That's what everybody's saying right now, New Year, New Me. But I wanna ask you the question, are you self-sabotaging your 2020 goals? So for those of you who are new to me and you are just joining, my name is Ashley Benz. I am the founder and creator of Child Care Business Executive Tools. I am also a Child Care Business Automation Strategy Consultant. And basically what I do is I help child care owners do these three things, okay? Um, I help you basically, or my goal, and you guys, I am rusty, new year, y'all. I have been off for almost three weeks. Um, so anyway, y'all have to excuse me. That's why I got my notes. So, uh, but my goal is to provide a solution to child care owners, which allows you to automate, okay, um, your child care program so you can do these three things. Number one, make sure that you have a quality of care for children and families. Number two, make sure that you have a financially um, stability and health uh, for your program. So making sure that you are uh, financially uh, stable and that you are financially healthy and your program is financially healthy. And the most important thing, which is what I'm after for every child care business owner, you guys, because you know we work hard, but it's to make sure that you have some free time for yourself and gain that free time back. Now, um, I do all this through my online campus I'm at ashleybenz.com. And um, I do this through uh, programs and courses and all kinds of things uh, that the ways I teach these different strategies and things like that and work with clients. Now, if you're trying to get into the child care business industry and you are wanting to open up your own daycare business, okay, this is a dream of yours for the year. I also help you do that. Um, and I uh, basically have a step-by-step -step plan that helps you become licensed, a licensed child care business owner, okay? So um, I'll be giving information on that at the end, which means, you know, you got to stick to the end, right, to get the goodies. Okay, um, so somebody might be asking, now, wait a minute, Ashley, now, what qualifies you to do these things or where do you, how do you know all these things? Well, because I owned, operated, ran, and directed a child care business for 10 years and I have been working with child care owners since 2016. So um, it's, I've had a, a major journey, okay? Um, and there's a lot of things I have learned over the years. And so basically what I actually learned while I was running my own child care business was how to automate things. And now that we are in this brand new year, you guys, uh, the world of automation, you guys, is just like, it is absolutely amazing at some of the stuff that, they, that they're doing now with automation and AI and all those kind of things. And just to kind of tell you a little bit, but yeah, I am a little bit of a geek when it comes to those kind of topics. So I love, um, you know, AI, artificial or artificial intelligence stuff. Like I just, it's, it's the coolest thing ever. So anyway, um, again, New Year, New Me is a topic of the day. Are you self-sabotaging your 2020 goals? We're going to be getting into that here in a few minutes. But as always, you guys, um, I always like to start off my videos with a client review or some sort of a testimony. And before I do that, I need for you to go ahead and grab you um, something to write with you guys. We're in a new year. Let's start taking notes, okay? I need for you to go ahead and grab you something to uh, sip on, your beverage of choice. And you guys, I want you to take a little peek at this. What do we see? Yes, it is our new branded cup. I hope to be having um, these available to you guys this year. That'll be kind of cool and amazing, one of my goals. Uh, but go ahead and grab you something to sip on, you guys. I'm keeping it clean with some fresh, cold lemon water. Um, lemon water has so many benefits. So um, I, I try to make sure I drink that every day, especially the first start of my day. All right, so you've got, oh, and get you a pen. Okay, because let me tell y'all something. New year, new me, but I've got some good stuff coming to you here in a few minutes. So um, the client review that I want to read to you is coming from Aggie, and she says, thank you for your email. You are really giving me hope. I was on the edge of giving up and closing down. It has been six long years of hard work, and I'm still confused. I'm grateful that, that the Holy Spirit said I must watch your video, and I did. May you be blessed in the work you are doing. So Aggie, I just want to tell you, honey, girl, there is there is help. Do not close down your child care businesses, you guys. Don't just walk away right now. There's help, and I am here to um, help you. And I'm so glad, Aggie, that my email that I sent to you 
um, that you like that it motivates you enough to say, you know what, I I'm going to keep my child care business open. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep giving this a shot. So um, thank you so much, Aggie. All right, before we jump into New Year, New Me, are you self-sabotaging your 2020 goals? I need for you to do these two things. I need for you to share this video out, okay? Share it out if you're watching this over on Facebook. Um, go ahead and like this video. Give this video some hearts, you guys. Come on, bring me some hearts. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Share this out with any other uh, child care owners, your friends, and, and people that you know that are running child care business because they do not want to miss this if they want to make sure they are hitting their goals for 2020. Um, all right, and I think that's everything. Oh, and if you're watching this on YouTube, okay, yes, my YouTuber. So if you're watching this on YouTube, I need for you to go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, you need to be doing that like right now. Okay, so you know what? I'm gonna sit here, new year, new me. I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna give you a second to hit that subscribe button. And when you do, go ahead and hit that bell so that you can be notified of when I post up new videos. You got it? All right. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. All right, you guys. So, new year, new me. Are you self-sabotaging your 2020 goals? So, before we get into that, the question that I want to ask you, okay, and I want you to go ahead and get your notes out, okay, because this, this is going to be good, all right? But I want to ask you this question, um, and this is what we're going to be talking about. What, who, when, how and why are you partnering with okay and i'm gonna help you fill in the blank because this year you guys you are partnering with something someone somebody okay and for whatever reasons you're partnering with these things so um we're gonna get into that in a little bit but just keep that in the back of your mind so right now i want to give you the definition of self-sabotage okay because a lot of times we hear these different words and these different phrases and it's kind of like, you know, what does that truly mean? I'm going to take me a sip because it's going, this is going to be good, okay? What does that truly mean? Self-sabotage. So here's the definition. It's a behavior is said to be self-sabotaging when it creates problems in daily life and interferes with long-standing goals. The most common self-sabotaging behaviors include procrastination, self-medication. Now, let me just stop right there on the self-medication part of things because you guys can self-medicate with watching videos all day on YouTube and watching Facebook live videos about how to run child care businesses and not take any action on it. You are self-medicating yourself, okay? You can self-medicate by being enrolled in courses, you guys, and I'm going to talk to some of you guys that are my clients. If you're enrolled, enrolled in any of my courses and programs and you're not implementing what's what I'm teaching you, you are self-sabotaging yourself You can uh, and self-medicating yourself. You can also self-medicate by spending um, out money on things that don't get us results in our businesses instead of making investments because there's a difference between spending and investing. And a lot of you all are just spending. You're spending it on books, child care, business books. And I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with books, you guys. There's nothing wrong with reading books and all that good stuff. I'm a lover of books. I love to read. But let me just say this, okay? If you're not investing in the information that you are receiving from the books, from the courses, from the online videos like what you're watching right now, and you're not investing the time to implement, you are self-medicating. That's all that you're doing. And you're self-sabotaging yourself, okay? Um, the definition goes on to say, that another form or uh, part of self-sabotaging uh, is comfort eating and all forms of self-injury, okay? All forms of self-injury. So let's go back to the question. I'm going to help you answer that. And we're going to answer that in the five of the six parts and pieces that I teach that you need to have in place in your child care business for it to run successfully and for you to not have a watered down life, okay? That's, essentially, that's what it's about. You got into business because you do not want a watered down lifestyle. And so who, I mean, what, who, when, how, and why are you partnering with these kinds of mindsets? You ready? Let's go. Get your notes out because I'm going to be running through these fast. Okay. Um, but I need for you to get ready. Here we go. What, who, when, and how, what, who, when, how, and why are you partnering with these kinds of mindsets? You're accounting and budging. Okay, this is a mindset that y'all be having. 
not having a month-to-month -month budget that includes four separate goals. Your month-to-month -month budget, number one, you need to have a budget. The budget needs to cover month-to-month. -month. And the four separate or the three separate goals that you need to have in is you need to have a profit goal, you need to have a working capital goal, and a growth goal. Okay, if you do not have these kind of things and your mindset is not on this kind of stuff and you're accounting and budgeting, you are partnering with a poverty mindset. That is who you're partnering with. When you are not controlling the money that comes into your child care business, you are partnering with the poverty mindset. Because let me tell you right up front from somebody that knows it, the money that comes in, if you don't have a place for it to go and you don't control it where it goes, it will go wherever it wants to. Money is like wild horses. Okay, and if it does not have somebody to control it, it's going to run wild. So if you don't have a profit goal, a working capital goal, a growth goal, a growth goal, and you don't even have a budget that's going to carry you month to month, you are partnering with the poverty mindset. Your business will not be financially healthy. Okay, moving on. Marketing advertising. This is a mindset that I see a lot of y'all out here using is that you do not need to use paid advertisement via Facebook ads. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Okay. Paid advertising via Facebook ads. Now, why is this thinking wrong? Why is it wrong for you to be thinking like that? Number, the reason, main reason why, there's a whole lot of reasons, but the ones I'm going to cover today in this video, okay? <laughs> new year, new me, you guys. Yes, yes, yes. Um, the ones I'm going to cover today in this video is targeting. Targeting. So the what, what you guys are normally taught is word of mouth, you know, get your little website, um, flyers. That's what's being taught. That is wrong teaching right now in this age of 2020. Now, I'm going to say this really quick. Insert here. If you're watching this in 2021, 2022, or 2023, or whatever other year, just, just insert the, the correct year, okay? Because let me just tell y'all something. I'm not going to throw away this video, and I'm probably going to repurpose it for next year, okay? So um, if you hear me say 2020, but it's a different year, just insert the year that we're currently in. It's still going to apply, all right? Still going to apply. And if it doesn't, I'll make a new video. But what I want to get down to, you guys, is that... Um, you are, why this thinking is wrong is because if you cannot target the families that need to be coming to your program, you're wasting your advertising dollars, guys. Hello. Like, I mean, you know, um, I've heard of owners doing direct mail advertising and all this kind of stuff. They, I've, I, some owner came to me, she said she spent $6,000 on it and only did not get made. She got two people back. Forget that. Right? Like, why are we still doing that stuff? Okay. So you are partnering, if, if you are, if your thinking is about, well, you know, I really don't want to, I don't want to spend money on Facebook ads. I heard they don't work. I tried it. They're not working. You are partnering with the, I don't want to invest in my marketing efforts mindset. Let me say that again. You are partnering with, I don't want to invest in my marketing efforts mindset. If you believe so much in your business, why are you not investing in the right things? Okay, moving on. Management and leadership, specifically staffing. Here's a mindset. You cannot attract the right kind of staff. Oh, I can't attract the right kind of staff. I, I just I just don't know how to find the right kind of staff. I just, I can't attract them. They're just not coming to me. I'm hiring people and they're just not working out. Let me ask you a question. Are you an attractable person? Are you an attractable child care business owner? Are you an attractable director? Because if you are an attractable person, child care business owner, and director, okay, then you should be able to attract the right kind of people, right? Now, you are partnering with the lack of confidence. That's just what you're partnering with, okay? You're partnering with the lack of confidence. There are some things in you that you need to get your, your mindset. Shit needs to be shifted because we all know that we attract who we are. And so, therefore, because you are you have you're partnering with the the lack of my the lack of confidence mindset. Then you're attracting people that coming in. They don't have they don't have confidence in their life. They don't know what they're doing. Um, and I've seen it. You know, the young girls coming in. They don't they don't have any direction in their lives. And I get that. We're, we all get in the stage where we're trying to find ourselves. But let me just say this right up front. Listen, when I hire you, I don't mind that you're finding yourself. But when you come in here, you need to know who you are immediately. Okay, and that is an employee of Ashley Angel's Child Care. Okay, which is my old child care center that I ran uh, for 10 years. So 
Or whether you're trying to find yourself, that's great. And listen, I will help you find yourself. I will help you find yourself right here. But, but here's what I'm not going to do to myself as a child care business owner. I am not going to self-sabotage myself and attract the right kind of people because I am not an attractable person when it comes to um, being a leader, uh, managing my accounting and budgeting. See, when you don't do these things right in your business, you guys, then that makes you unattractable. You, you're not attractable, a, 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 attractive. So what you get, you get people, you attract the wrong kind of people. Does that make sense? Okay, moving on. Customer service and program quality. Y'all are probably thinking, where is that? Where's the old Ashley? I mean, she's gone. I left her in 2019. <laughs> this is the new me. And this year, you guys, I'm not playing around. I don't have time to be playing around with people. Um, you know, people that don't take action. Like, I'm, I'm, that's, I'm done with that. Okay, so y'all are getting a new me today. Okay. All right. Management and leadership. Oh, we just did that. Customer service and program quality. So this is the mindset. This is what you're taught is to have a rinky dink website that does not offer a one stop shop, a one stop online shop uh, experience for families. Okay. Uh, meaning that when they come to your website, you guys, it's a one stop shop. They get an online experience. They can book their tour right there from your website. They can click a button and book a tour and come on in today if it's available, right? Um, and they can do that. It's self-service. Um, they can enroll directly. They can uh, do like your enrollments. Your enrollments can be directly done on your website. You're not using third-party software systems that don't make sense for your program, okay? But your online enrollment is directly on your website, you guys. The mindset here, you are partnering with the antique 1940s mindset. Let me say that again. When you have a rinky-dink website, you guys, we are in 2020. Hello. Hello. We're in 2020. Like, this is the age where where cars are driving themselves, where um, where artificial intelligence is being used. Like, they're using art AI to... Uh, create like actual almost like robots that think and learn like human beings you guys like this is where we're at right now and if you are if you still got a rinky dink website okay that's not doing anything for you and your business and for the families that are coming to your website you guys you are partnering with the antique 1940s mindset and you're it's outdated okay moving on office Office organization and procedures. Office organization and procedures. You guys, let me check my time too as well. Okay, I had to check my time because I have an appointment with a client um, here in about 20 minutes. So I have to make sure that I am not going to miss that appointment. Um, but anyway, um, when we're talking about customer service and program quality, and we just covered that about the website, but you're partnering with the Antiques 1940 Mindset. Moving on, office organization and procedures. Accepting, this is, this is what y'all doing. I see it all the time. You are accepting a messy desk and messy procedures that are not digital and paperless. Okay. So you're accepting that when, when you walk into your office, you got junk all over the place. You got papers all over the place. You got mess all over the place. Listen, been there, done that. I remember, you know, I had an office as well. Um, and when you walked into my office before I automated things in my business, in my child care business, when you walked into my office, there was stacks of papers on my desk. I had stack, I had old raggedy filing cabinet, y'all, that's so outdated. Raggedy filing cabinet with stacks of papers on top of the cabinet. You open the cabinet drawer up and papers just come out everywhere. It was it was messy. It was messy. Um, and let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this, okay? Because here's the deal about it. Have we ever, y'all, we've all heard that saying where like you can look at somebody's car and tell how their home is, how they keep their home. So like if they have a messy car, most likely their, their house is like that, okay? When we, when you walk into your office as an executive, okay? And that's, that's, that's who I work with here at Child Care Business Executive Tools. I don't work with, um, you know, uh, people that are, not ready to level up and be an executive of their child care business. I don't I don't work with those kind of people. I work with executives over here. So I'm talking to you if you want to be an executive of your child care business. But 
when you walk into your office as an executive, an executive has things in order. They are doing things decently and in order. Okay? Do, so for my God girls out there, decently and in order, you y'all know that's coming from scripture. We need to do all things decently and in order. And so therefore, when you walk into your desk, and right now, if you are, if if you are, if you got a messy office, you're accepting that mess. You are accepting it. And you're also accepting your messy procedures that are not digital and paperless. You are partnering with the lazy mindset of not one to clean up your office and just go paperless. Lazy. I, I'm, I, you know, I'm sorry if I'm stepping on somebody's toes right now, but if I'm stepping on your toes, just sit Indian style. That's just all I'm going to tell you. Okay. My job here is to feed you guys and, and, and really give you guys what you need. Because let me just say this out there. The information that's coming to you guys, it's most of it. I'm not going to say most of it, but a lot of information is, is wrong because of the times that we're in. Now, if the information that you're getting, I would say that it would be, and I'm talking about, you know, the information that you're getting in the industry. I would say that it would be pretty correct if we was back in 2000. Maybe this is, you know, like if it was 2000 or 1999, but we're in 2020. So, you know, um, and I know what information is out there because that's my job is to keep up with it. And the information that's out there, you guys, it's really, it's, it's becoming outdated. Okay. So you are partnering with the lazy mindset of not wanting to clean up your office and go paperless. That's what you're partnering with. Moving on. The last one and the most important one. And this is the one that I am going to be um, devoting my new year to is work-life balance for child care business owners who are working 50 plus hours a week because who does that when you own the business? Why are you doing that when you own the business, right? But your work-life balance, take notes, you guys, is that this is a mindset that you have is I have to work 50 plus hours a week in my center of program for my center of program to be what I want it to be. Let me repeat that. This is the way you think. I have to work 50 plus hours a week in my center or program for my center or program to be what I want it to be. Let me just, I'm going to stop everybody right here right now. Because let me just, here's what, we, here's what we're not going to do this year. We are not going to go through 2020 with that kind of mindset and thinking. Okay? Because let me just tell you this. And y'all know, y'all know about how I feel about hustling. Y'all know how I feel about hustling. But think about this, this way. The people that you hear that talk about that you need to hustle in a business and, and you know, and, and that kind of mindset, that kind of thinking, they're usually men, you guys. They're usually men. Men can do like that. Men can work 50 plus hours a week, right? Why? Because they don't have to come home to kids. They don't got to pick up the kids from, from school, Okay. They don't have to make sure there's dinner on the table for the family. They don't have to make sure that, you know, the household is being guided appropriately, right? They don't have to make sure. I'm sorry, I thought I heard something back here on my computer. They don't have to make sure. They don't have to make sure those things. So you're right. They can work 50 plus hours a week and work until their eyeballs pop out because they don't have the responsibilities that we as women, that we as mothers, that we as wives have. So just to raise that up out of your mind that you got to be hustling. Okay, okay, wrong kind of thinking that I have to work 50 plus hours a week, wrong kind of thinking, okay? If you got this kind of thinking, you are partnering with the employee mindset and not the executive mindset. And remember, I just told you, I'm only working with executives this year. So if you want to be an employee of your own child care business, when you come over here, it won't work. If your mindset is not to be an executive of your child care business, but your mindset is to stay an employee of it, let me tell you something. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to be your girl this year for that. I'm not, I'm not going to be your girl. I'm not the one. Okay? Because there is so much to a work-life balance and making sure that we balance the, the our work and our lives. And the reason why is because you are not your child care business. You are another human being outside of your child care because you got other responsibilities. And, you know, I mean, you've got other things you want to do in life besides go in and work 50 plus hours a week, right? So let's go back to the question, you guys, as we close out this video. What, who, when, how, 
And why are you partnering with these kinds of mindsets? Okay. And so I'm going to go back to the what. What are you, what information are you getting that makes you think it's okay to partner with these kind of mindsets? Who are you getting the information from? Okay. How are you getting the information? Why and why are you listening to it when it's not right? Why are you listening to that when it's not right? That's that's the part that you gotta under that you're gonna have to ask yourself the question because when you listen to things that's not right for your business, when you listen to things that's going to cause you to keep working the 50 plus hours a week, you are partnering with the mindset that is going to have you self-sabotage your 2020 goals. Okay. Um, and if you don't have a plan to reverse your thinking and actions towards your 2020 goals, then guess what? You, all you're doing this year is repeating last year. That's it. And you'll do it again over and over and over again. So I, I, I already know because I didn't talk to people, y'all. Yes, I'm hopping up out of my seat because it's, it's hot in here. That's why I, didn't, I had a jacket on today and I just said I'm going to take it off because I knew this video was going to get me burning up. <laughs> so I am telling y'all, I am th this year, I'm just, I'm not playing, right? Like we got to get out of the mindset of literally being an employee of our childcare business versus an executive. And so um, if you are interested in moving from a director role to an owner role, okay, if you're interested in moving from a director role to an owner role, moving out of that employee mindset and become an executive of your child care business, then um, I am going to leave these little links down below. And um, there's, let's see, I'm going to do, there'll be some stuff down below. Here's what I know for sure. Um, if you are getting started, so let me talk to you guys because I know that you're, you're watching as well. But if you're getting started, okay, and you would love to become an executive of a child care business um, this year, is your goal is to open up your own uh, child care program, then I am going to leave you the link, okay, to my, it's my um, how to get started roadmap training guide. It's a, you get a guide and you get an online training video. You can watch it on demand. I'm going to leave that down below. And I'm going to basically walk you through exactly what you need to do this year to get your child care business uh, to become licensed, okay? And so um, it's absolutely free. You can download the guide, watch the video training, uh, video training for me. And the majority of people that take the um, training get their most burning questions answered. So that's gonna be there for you. Now, for those of you who are like, okay, Ashley, girl, everything you're saying right now is like, I can't continue to go down this path that I've been going down of self-sabotaging, my child care business goals, my work-life balance. I'm sick of working 50 plus hours a week. I know that there's got to be a better way. And I'm ready to step into the new me, new, new me, the new executive of 2020 and, and, and re-innovate my child care business. Then I am going to invite you to um, a VIP 30-day automation done for you. Okay, so I am going to be, I am offering a VIP 30 days of done for you services. Okay, if you're interested in working with me one-on-one um, -on -one and working with my team to help basically come in and uh, audit your systems and your processes and basically turn them into automated systems and processes, okay, um, then I would love to invite you to check it out. So there's going to be a link down below to get more information on my VIP 30-day automation done for you. Uh, service program where, like I said, me and my team, we're going to come in, we're going to swoop, we're going to swoop in and for 30 days, we are going to get your life together. Okay. Um, so that is down there below as well. And for those of you that are like, wait a minute, Ashley, I'm just a little bit confused. I know you keep talking about automation and, and, and AI and all that kind of stuff. If you want to know more information about what child care business automation is, I'm also going to leave that link down below. Um, you are also going to get a automation, a child care business automation checklist guide. It's absolutely free along with a training video where I explain to you what it is. And I kind of really break it down for you if you're a little bit like, okay, I need a little bit more information. Um, okay, you guys, this is it. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready for 2020? I'm ready for 2020, you guys. Um, this is going to be an amazing year. And for me, my word of uh, this year for me is alignment. 
okay alignment and so that's my word for 2020 for this year um, I'm just going to make sure that everything I do say is all in alignment with who I really am and who I've grown to be uh, to become over the last well, almost four years uh, since 2016 that I've been running child care business executive tools. So, all right, you guys, I've got more stuff coming your way, more content like this. Be sure again, if you have not subscribed to this channel, um, if you're over on YouTube, please be sure to subscribe because you know I'm going to be bringing you a lot of good stuff this year. Also, if you're watching this over on Facebook, um, please be sure, go ahead, and I forgot to tell y'all, leave the com leave comments down below. You can leave comments, you guys. I'm going to come back and look at the comments and um, answer your questions or anything like that that you've got going on down there. Um, I can't think of anything else, y'all. I've got to get off here because I've got my appointment here in probably about 15 minutes. So listen, you guys, happy new year. New year, new me. Don't self-sabotage yourself this year. Let's do the right things. Let's have the right mindset. And be sure that you are watching the mindset that you're partnering with. All right, you guys, I will see you guys back in the next video. God bless until the next one. Bye. Thanks for joining.